Hi guys, in this video I'll be discussing the heart, the chambers of the heart, coronary arteries, the heart's pacemaker, and finally a summary. The heart is an organ about the size of your fist. The role of the heart is to pump blood around the body. This enables oxygen and glucose to be supplied and waste to be removed. And your heart is on the left side of the body. So what is the heart made of? Well, it's mainly made of cardiac muscle. This is a type of muscle that is only found in the heart. And these cardiac muscle cells form cardiac tissue, which make up the organ of the heart. Blood is transported around when cardiac cells contract together. This happens when these muscle cells shorten. Each contraction leads to a heartbeat, and cardiac muscle cells contract around 70 times a minute. This means that the typical heart beats around 70 times a minute. To understand how the heart works and what its function is, we have to look at its structure, how the structure helps it to fulfill its role. So the heart has four chambers. It has two small chambers at the top of the heart, the left atrium and the right atrium. The plural of atrium is atria. So this is the right atrium. Deoxygenated blood enters the right atrium. This blood is eventually pumped to the lungs to be oxygenated. This is the right atrium. Oxygenated blood from the lungs enters here. This blood leaves the heart to supply the tissues of the body with oxygenated blood. There are also two chambers at the bottom of the heart. These are the left and the right ventricles. So this is the right ventricle. And this is the left ventricle. Deoxygenated blood is pumped from the right atrium to the right ventricle. Oxygenated blood is pumped from the left atrium to the left ventricle. But what separates the atria and the ventricles? What separates these chambers? Well, the heart has things called valves, and these separate the chambers, and they make sure that blood goes in in the right direction. So these are the valves and you have them on both sides of the heart. These valves make sure that the blood doesn't flow backwards. The cardiac muscles in the heart need its own supply of oxygenated blood to be able to contract. This is because it needs oxygen for aerobic respiration. This diagram shows aorta, which carries oxygenated blood around the body, and these are the coronary arteries. So what are the coronary arteries? These are arteries which supply the heart, and these branch off the aorta. A really interesting thing about the heart is that the heart will beat even if it's taken out of the body, and this is if it's supplied with oxygen and glucose. So why does this happen? Well, this is because there's a group of cells in the wall of the right atrium that acts as a pacemaker. So this is a right atrium, and these are the pacemaker cells. So what exactly do these cells do? These cells produce an electrical signal and this spreads to cardiac muscle cells in the heart. This causes the cardiac muscles to contract and this causes a heartbeat. When a patient's heart rate is irregular, an artificial pacemaker device can be implanted under the skin. This has a wire going towards the heart and this is the pacemaker device. This provides a regular electrical signal and this allows the heart to function normally. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing GCC biology and combined science resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the Snap Revise smiley face and together let's make biology at GCSE a walk in the park.